lesson I'm going to show you how to hold the guitar pick and how to avoid some of the common mistakes that uh, beginning players often make. So let me zoom up close to my hand and uh, show you how to do that. So the first thing that you want to do is place the pick on your finger like this. Notice that the edge of the pick is just crossing about where the corner of my fingernail is. And notice the direction it's pointing. My first finger is kind of arced, it's not straight, but I kind of bent it at the knuckle there. And the next thing we do is grab the thumb and make sort of an X with the index finger like that. Now notice again that the corner of my, my thumbnail this time is right at the edge of the pick. So if I'm going to turn this around, it's going to look like this. So now one of the biggest mistakes that beginners often make is they hold the pick something like this. That's a, that's a lot of pick hanging out there. Um, the closer you are to the end of this pick, the more control you're going to have. Instead of using a lot of, a lot of, you know, big motions like this, you, you'll be able to pick with small, efficient motions with, with very little effort. Now it's only fair to note that there are some great guitar players that don't hold the pick like this. Some people have, have held it like this, and even like this with two fingers and the thumb, like that. Um, I don't recommend doing this. I, the vast majority of guitar players hold it like this. Um, I, I do think this gives you the most control. I think that some people may have started like this, gotten used to it, and um, and uh, just never looked back. But if we start out this way, I think it gives you an advantage over the other grips because, like I said, of the control. So uh, start out with good habits, and you'll be better off in the long run.